why would our descendants care about us enough to maintain preservation facilities, maintain storage facilities, and then one day go to all the effort that would be required in actually reviving their ancestors? Like that does seem absurd to a large degree when we think about the resources that would be required to do so. So you've got to imagine. And yeah, I, I do think through different scenarios. Like in the scenario where we end up with some sort of apocalyptic outcome for humanity, where we have nuclear war or horrible pandemics or runaway climate change or any of those sorts of scenarios, then there's no point preserving people because no one's going to be around to revive anyone. So like it's in one case, it's like clear that there are scenarios under which this definitely won't work, even if the technology is totally sound and like in principle, it should work. But I don't see this as a reason to give up. I see it as a reason to think seriously about how can we earn the love and respect of future generations to come. Now, in part, I think that maybe even if we just carry on as we normally do, there's a reasonable chance that they will love us. Because for the same reasons why when I look back upon past generations, I actually feel a lot of love towards their efforts. Because I think about the fact that the world used to exist in a state where one in two children died before the age of 15, where most people lived in extreme poverty, where rates of violence were much higher than they are today. And I'm grateful that instead, I get to live in a world with running water and cheap food and video games and nice books and general safety. That didn't happen just out of nowhere. That happened because a lot of people in the past work to make their world better for themselves and their children and their grandchildren. And if I could somehow help them to reach back through time, then I would do so. But I think looking towards the future, it just strengthens the argument that what we have to do today is to solve the challenges of our time, to make sure things go well, even better than the current state of the world we live in, such that there will be people who will be motivated to maintain preservation facilities and to want to revive their ancestors. Because if we end up in, in, a, in a good version of the future, one that's like extremely wealthy compared to today, one that's safe compared to today, then they will hopefully look back and be like, well, we have all these resources to use and these people who were preserved, who we're grateful for, yeah, it sounds like it would be a fun idea and nice for them to bring them back. That's, that's why I called the book The Future Loves You, because I, I think it, we have to think seriously about this intergenerational credit and responsibility.